hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is paul you guys i'm really sorry i've not been uploading as often anymore everything is kind of slow right now we're almost in the month of july and all we have is just a bunch of speculation and rumors not much of new product release or any hardware release or any phone release like that but everything is going to change by august because that's when tech season starts i'm going to get ps5 the note 20 series i mean of course the iphone 12 series are going to come out later this year but i'm going to try my best to produce as much good content for you guys before that time i'm really sorry and thanks for sticking around anyways in this video i'm going to be comparing two iphone 11 pro max one running on ios 14 and one running on ios 13. Um, in this video we're going to be comparing the interface what they still have in common um, the new features on ios 14 and we're going to check if ios 14 makes your phone faster the speed test in this video should be applicable to any phone that is currently using ios 13 but it's capable of upgrading to ios 14 so let's get straight into the video so the phone i have on my right which is the midnight green iphone 11 pro max is currently running on ios 14 and the one on the left which is the silver iphone 11 pro max is running on ios 13.5.1 which is the current ios 13 as you can see the silver phone is running on ios 13.5.1 while the midnight green is running on ios 14. if you turn on both phones you might not notice any difference between both phones but there's a new upgrade to ios 14. if you scroll down to the the last screen when you scroll down to your left you're gonna find your widgets and the thing is that i've been hearing a lot of people saying this is the first time apple is adding widgets to iphone but this is not actually true iphone seems to have widgets but the only difference is that now the widgets on ios 14 you can take it to the screen and do so many things with it let's just say apple just made the widgets more interesting this year so let me show you an example of things you can do on ios 14 but you can't do on ios 13. first you can move any of the widgets to the home screen something like this once you click on the widgets you can take it anywhere on the home screen just place it right there there's also a feature called smart stock the smart stock feature simply means placing one widget on top of another widget let me show you something like that let me take this yellow widget which is um tips or uh, no how to copy and paste i'm gonna take it to the home screen and place it on top of another widget and now you can scroll through the widgets now you have the widget that shows you how to copy and paste and a widget that shows you the price of the stock market and you can add more widgets to it and one other difference between ios 13 when you scroll to the right you're gonna find some app library this is where all your apps are organized depending on their function you have the social media app entertainment creativity productivity lifestyle utilities and stuff but you don't have that on ios 13. you can actually group all your apps together on ios 13 but apple decided to do it for you this year now you have access to all your apps in just one place normally on ios 13 sometimes i always have the problem of finding my application even the applications i use every day sometimes it's very stressful to find so all i all i gotta do is just if i'm looking for whatsapp or my camera or anything all i gotta do is just swipe to the right and to the end of the screen then click on the app because i know i'm going to find whatsapp under the social media library and i think this feature should actually come in handy depending on the individual one other upgrade ios 14 brought to the table is being able to scroll through the screen using this stuff below the screen this dot 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 below the screen you can now scroll through the screen using this stuff but on ios 13 you can't do that it also has this bunch of dot below the screen but you can't use them to scroll through the screen and those are the new features ios 14 brought to the table at least on the home screen so one other upgrade in ios 14 is actually in the imessage app so the interface of imessage still pretty much look the same thing on both phones even though one is running on ios 13 and one is running on ios 14 but there are some new upgrade that ios 14 brings to the table one big upgrade that ios 14 brings to the table is being able to pin your favorite contact to the top of the screen something like this all you gotta do is swipe to the right like now i'm gonna pin my mama's contact to the top of the screen and just press the yellow pin button and now my mama's contact is at the top of the screen instead of just scrolling through my contact to find who i want to message all i gotta do is just pin the contact of whoever i message all the time to the top of the screen now it's easier to find the contact and everything but you can't do that on ios 13 because if you swipe to the right on any of the contacts on ios 13 you're not gonna get that option to pin any contact to the top of the screen so the only option you have to find the contact you want to send a message to is just to search press the search button and you're gonna run out of luck if you didn't save the person's number so the pin feature on ios 14 is actually very useful at least in my own case so one other upgrade in ios 13 is actually in the group chat i don't really have any group chat to show you guys but so basically if you are in any group chat now you're able to reply to a specific message in the group chat because normally when when you're in a group chat there's going to be a bunch of random messages and stuff like that but now on ios 14 you are now able to reply to a specific message in the group chat so all you got to do is just click on the specific message in the group chat and reply to the message 
and also still on iMessage a new feature on group chat is being able to send a specific message to a specific person all you gotta do is just write the person's name and send whatever message you want to send to the person and the person is going to get a notification and same thing vice versa anytime you're in a group chat and anyone mentions your name and sends a message to you that's when you're going to receive a notification that someone has mentioned your name in the group chat and that feature actually comes in handy because sometimes group chats could be crowded and still on iMessage apple added a couple of more memojis and memoji stickers to what you currently have on ios 13. now you get more options to customize your memojis and memoji sticker to the ones with face covering yeah there's the new one called um, the face covering you don't get the face covering option on ios 13 but now you get um, the option to add face covering to your memojis on ios 14 and a couple of new memoji stickers have been added to ios 14 and that's about it for imessage so one other major upgrade i noticed between ios 13 and ios 14 is actually on youtube let's click on youtube to check what i'm talking about the app library actually comes in handy when finding an application. So the major upgrade in iOS 14 in the YouTube section is being able to watch 4K video. Now I'm going to search for a 4K video to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to play the same video. So now on iOS 14, which is the phone at the top right here, you get the option to play a video in 4K. And both phones are playing the same video. So now you get the option to play the video in 4K which is not actually an option on iOS 13. Normally on iOS 13, it has been capped to 1080p 60 HDR. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Same video and this video quality is capped to 1080p 60 HDR. Now you're able to play a 4K video in 4K instead of just 1080p. And that's one of the major upgrades between iOS 13 and iOS 14. So one other feature iOS 14 brings to the table and iOS 13 doesn't have, Apple calls it picture in picture. This feature enables you to minimize your video to the home screen. Let's try Netflix. So now let's play a video on both phones. So the picture in picture mode enables you to minimize your videos to the home screen, something like this. But you can't do that on iOS 13. But now you're able to minimize your Netflix video to the home screen. This feature actually comes in handy. I mean, this feature might have been on Android for a very long time, but, but Apple has finally added the features to iPhones. You can actually move the video anywhere on the screen. You can change the size of the video. All you gotta do is just pinch out on the video to change the size and you can actually move it to the side of the screen if you don't want to watch what's on the screen right now but you, you, you'll still be able to hear what the video is saying and if you want to bring back the video all you got to do is just pull out the arrow and the video is going to be back on the home screen and that's it for the picture in picture mode so when it comes to the drop down menu apple didn't really change much they still pretty much look the same way um everything is still the same thing everything is still the same size the notification menu also looks the same way not nothing really changed much about that so there are so many upgrades that ios 14 brings to the table but those are the major ones i noticed so now let's wrap up this video with a quick speed test i know both phones are powered by the a13 bionic chip which is actually a very powerful chip but sometimes software can make a difference between the same phone so now let's do a quick speed test between both phones let's cancel all the applications now there's no application running in the background now we can do a speed test now let's try instagram first As you can see, the one running on iOS 14 actually booted up a little bit faster than the one running on iOS 13. So there's a possible chance that iOS 14 actually makes your apps run faster. But don't let us come to any conclusion yet. Let's try another app. Let's try YouTube. So this time the one running on iOS 13 actually booted up a little bit faster than the one running on iOS 14. But like I said earlier in this video, it could be human errors. It's possible that both phones actually boot up at the same time. But according to my test right here, right now, the one running on iOS 13 actually booted up faster than the one running on iOS 14. So let's just try a couple of more apps before we come to any conclusion. Let's try Facebook. The one running on iOS 14 actually loaded Facebook a little bit faster than the one running on iOS 13. So it's possible that iOS 14 actually makes your phone a little bit faster. You might not notice the speed in every application, but iOS 14 is actually going to make some of the apps run faster. I mean, it's going to make even your phone in general run faster than when it was running on iOS 13. Let's just try one more application. And if the one running on iOS 14 loads up faster than the one running on iOS 13, we're going to come to a conclusion that iOS 14 actually makes your phone a little bit faster. So now let's try the App Store and this is going to be my final speed test. So as you can see, the one running on iOS 13 actually booted up a little bit faster than the one running on iOS 14. 
but like i said we might not notice any speed difference in every application some of the applications might run faster some of the application might still run the same way and some of the application might even run slower on the ios 14. and by the way this is the beta version of the ios 14. this is not the real ios 14. the real ios 14 is going to come out in the fall it's probably going to be launched with the iphone 12 lineup so anyways i hope you guys found this video helpful if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel turn on notification bell and I promise to make good content for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.